Hello, Bellogan here. In this video, we're gonna pick up on our playthrough on a fresh account and see where we progress. Last time we started at level 10, got up to level 17. Um, I was looking for bounties to pop up. Had I read this uh, tip up at the top, I would have noticed though they show up at level 20. So this video and here on out is gonna be less uh, slowly explaining things and more just me playing and kind of walking through what's going on. So our goals for the moment, Right now, we're to get enough drachma to get to the moon and to get to level 20. So in that vein, we're just gonna come and start do our, our standard farming. Uh, pick my lucky day for my bonus here. And uh, we'll see how long this takes to, to get where we're going. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I talked about ammo with special and heavy. Those two weapons require ammo to use. So when I get into a battle here where I'm not one-shotting the enemy, you'll see I've got 47 special ammo and four heavy. You can buy those or they come in item drops uh, as well uh, that you use from your inventory. And I don't think I've bought any yet, so all of these have come from, from inventory. So the way the weapons work follow kind of the, the way they did in Destiny. That's what this is really modeled after. Your special does twice the damage on shields, whereas your primary and heavy only does one half damage to shields. Um, your primary attack is the fastest attack that you have, and then heavy does uh, actually 1.5 times the damage uh, of that it's listed. So it's attack value times your attack multiplier times 1.5 is what it does, I believe. Um, but it has a bit of a cooldown on it, so it's a little bit slower. So it will hit harder, which I'll show you here, but you have more of a cooldown with that uh, in between. Alright, this Titan isn't hitting me very hard. I might be able to take him out with a flare bomb. We'll see here. Ooh, that was good. 1,000 experience. Got a whole level off of that. Special blue memory. Uh, specials don't help a whole lot. That's alright. And let's see. Tier 3. I bet he's going to rock me. Let's see. Yeah, he's hitting for about 20. Still pretty good. Uh, let's see, there's my flare bomb, does a thousand damage, my normal attack is a hundred, so your, your flare bomb does about ten times your normal attack. And a crit, which you have a, a small percent, I want to say it's around two percent base to do, um, does four times your damage, so a super that crit does forty times your, your damage. A whole mini sphere, that's lovely. I'm also watching, watching missions. Uh, Eight kills on these, they're uh, dropping snowballs, which is for a seasonal shop that's open at the moment. Probably won't get enough in this playthrough for, for any of that to matter very much. And uh, let's see, my Titans pop back up again. We'll come after him just because he's giving me pretty good gains compared to everything else tier two this time. Hit him once, and then we're gonna see we can get him down to finish him off with the flare bomb. So your killing blow gets more experience for the hit than uh, your normal attacks in its, in its health. Get one more here. So you really want to get as much overkill as possible to get as much potential experience as you can from those guys. see how this goes along. Uh, I'm planning to play this account up to 99 and kind of record and document the whole thing just to uh, answer you know questions of what do I do when I'm at, at this point in the game. There seems to be several points where that happens for players from when they very first start to where they're at level 10 in the last video, you know kind of in level breaks up to uh, even once you hit level 99 sometimes there's questions what do I do then. We like to joke the, the game really starts uh, at that point. All right, let's come check. Have I gotten any more drachma orbs and spheres in here? I do. Uh, let's use some of those experience orbs. Is that gonna get us? Getting us pretty close. We're getting pretty close to 20. So I've got enough drachma now uh, to buy the moon ship. What I don't have, and we'll use a special ammo. The remedies you use to get rid of blind, poison, uh, or stun status. So 
so you don't want to use those. And when you hit use all inventory, it won't use those either for you. All right, the other thing I should note is there's a level multiplier on your attack damage. So as you go up in levels, your attack is naturally... Oh, Cosington stole that guy from us. All right, let's go to a different area. Uh, let's see. Factory yard. Now there's a story here. A broken machine. Can't do it yet. It's level 40. That one just recently added. It gives a, a green token, I think, that's going to be used for later on quests. So there's constantly updates coming into the game. Um, new things being added. So Firestream, the developer, was on today working on uh, sacred pets or sacred minions. I can't remember the exact name, but they're going to be uh, like followers or minions you have that you can level up and uh, heavily inspired by Pokemon, I guess, as far as what they do that they'll battle along with you. So that's something that's going to be coming in a near update at some point. All right, this guy was red, so when I killed him, it says you avenged Gino. Uh, on a avenged killing blow, you get double the experience as well. So you can get really huge gains from monsters if they're enraged. Um, you get double, and then if you avenge, it's even double again, so you get four extra rewards on that last hit. Um, so that's one strategy for, for Titans. If you can get one that's enraged when you kill it with the super and it's an avenge, that's when you get your... Uh, highest rewards from those. Uh, let's see, I really wanted to find another Titan. Um, I know there's always one at Grottos. This guy is tough. He's gonna kill me. That's alright. We'll take our thousand experience and run. Most of the other this guy's a little weaker. Most of the other um, Titans that appear on Earth are weaker than the one at the Grottos or the ones at Gold's Watch, the last area. Those two are, are the strongest Titans on Earth. So they hit a little bit harder. You need a little more defense to be able to, to uh, tank them reliably. Let's see. Are you any more spheres? Yeah. They're going to get me close. 3,000, 1,000. All right, level 20. Here we go. You know what, let's just go ahead and use everything. I don't need to pick and choose. So this has gotten me enough to both get my ship to the moon and also to um, hopefully decode some new equipment. Let's see, there's a story here, cloaked figure. Ooh, blue experience, sure, we'll start this one. What's the question? Uh, I'm not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs and breathe. That's gonna be fire. Uh, start from the beginning, who are you? No. Let's see, view story details. Was there one more ending? Apparently there's one more ending. Or one more bad ending. Uh, we'll answer the wrong one. Okay, that's everything. Both the good endings and the bad endings. Alright, back to exploring. Back here. Okay, back to the Acropolis. Uh, pick up everything out of the Postmaster. Got some Vanguard marks. I've got the Bounty Tracker on here. We're going to come to that in a minute, but I'm going to buy this ship to the moon. The moon is one of my favorite planets just because there's a lot of roaming titans. There's some set ones as well. Um, let's see, Vanguard Quartermaster. Have I got anything in here I can buy that help me out? Uh, Fates Garry's is 11 VM. And it's got six more attack than I have right now, plus 58% attack percentage. So that's actually pretty decent. I might, I might get that. Let's see, other weapons on here. I think the next primary, this one I really like. Um, the payback is pretty good at level 40, requires 69. Let me just check the weapon shop. Have I got any new weapons unlocked in here yet? No, these guys unlock at level 50 and they're gonna be quite a bit stronger. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy This primary weapon, the uh, Fates Keys here, just for the bump in power. Let's see where we're at in power now, by the way. All right, here we are, 380. And I'm not real hopeful that the whites are gonna give me a whole lot that's really good at this point. Let's just check a white and see. Well, maybe he will. 
390. Uh, let me come check my gear again. What's low in base stat? That's gonna give me pretty good at what I can get uh, bonuses on. So class and helm are my two lowest. Those are probably the ones that I can get uh, an increase in power for. Let's try a white helmet. Nope, not helping there. We'll try another class item. So some of this is just a little bit random. 92, that stayed at the same power. Uh, plus one fighter. Ooh, that jumped me up to 400. That was pretty good. Let's try this last helmet with the whites. And 404. Okay, let's come try a couple greens, and we're just gonna go through this till I run out of money. And I think what I'm gonna do is see if there's an easy bounty to do. So with greens, we're gonna start with. We've got gauntlets, chest, legs, class. We'll start with the class because I know my class has a lot of room for. Improvement, equip, okay, that's pretty good. Jump to 15. Let's come back and look where we're at now. So, 15, looks like a chest is still probably a pretty good one to potentially upgrade. Minus one, but attack and XP perk. I think this is probably gonna lower me, let's check. No, it took me up, 422. Nice. Uh, let's try another class. Attack, minus death, plus four base death, 422. Let's see, is that gonna be better? 435, yeah, that jumped me up a little bit again. Ooh, that's a pretty good bump, 24. That took me up to 450. Uh, I got a few more greens here. Mm, with the attack percentage, this is probably gonna lower me, so I'm just gonna dismantle that one. Uh, we'll try the chest. We're going to try just the last couple armor pieces here and see if we can't get a, a few more bumps in power before we do the blues. And again, I'm not worried about the weapons. I'm pretty sure the weapons I have are going to be drastically stronger than anything I've got uh, that I can potentially decode right now. So this has one less armor, but it's got defense and hit point. Let me see what that does. 475. End up being a wash. A couple more greens. That's got a lot of defense to it, 478, small bump there. Uh, not helpful. And I've got heavy and special. I've got lots of just random greens, I'm not gonna worry about those. And on um, blues, the only one I know for sure that could potentially help is gonna be this chest, so we will try him. The scholar, and I notice the blues have got four perks on it, plus four, scholars are pretty good. Set item, so 502, so that was a decent, decent power bump. All right, really quick, let's just go to the moon and then we're gonna check a, a bounty. Ooh, this got smoking, yeah. It's for 588 damage, one shot dead. That's all right. So you'll notice the, the titans here on the moon are gonna be of the, the stronger variety versus uh, what we had on, on Earth. We're getting a little bit more rewards. You unlock traveling to the moon. Um, the regular monsters I should be able to clear out pretty easy on here like I'd expect everywhere else. All right, so I'm gonna run away, come back to the Acropolis. Let's check our bounties really quick here. So I've got these ones I can do, a Nymph Leader, a Python Ash, uh, lots of different monsters. Um, here's one that's at two hours two hours for 20 kills. The faster time means they're gonna go quicker. Now when I click on this, it's gonna tell me where they're physically at. So Python Ash is at the moon, and I have the moon and I just need 20 of them. And he's gonna give 5 VM, 3000 XP, some drachma. These go up as you increase in level, as your card rank goes up. This will cap out at 50 kills. Uh, but notice there's some purple memories in here. That could be really good. So let's hunt some Python Ashes. There are items and a bike you can buy that will make the target you're looking for when you're doing bounties highlight in yellow. Otherwise, we should look for Python Ash. So here's one, there's one, Tyrion Python Ash. Here we go up to three, four. I really like the ones that are on Earth and Moon because you can usually find a lot of them very quickly. Black. Hey, we're starting to get some some chests. I should open those. Uh, 
if they pop back up. Python Ash. Now some of the planets don't have as many areas, and so after you've cleared them all out, if you aren't seeing any more of the monster that you're looking for, you have to start killing and clearing out the area of all the monsters in it, and then they'll respawn every minute. So when that happens, you can get more of the one that you're, you're looking for to, to respawn. But usually with areas like the moon, I don't need to do that typically. Clumsy elf miss while trying to open a chest. Yes, 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 I did. Uh, let's see, another python ash. We're getting close to having this done. When I do my speed runs, I never worry about about uh, bounties just because it, it takes too long to do them for the rewards typically when you're doing an absolute speed run. But your first time through playing, and especially if you get these as dailies, they are they are worth doing uh, for the memories and for some of the other rewards they can give. And see the regular monsters here. I'm able to clear out pretty easily. Python Ash. All right, one more. Who's our last? Lucky Python Ash to complete this bounty. You were, all right, that's all 20 of them. Okay, we're gonna come back to the Acropolis Bounty Tracker. We're gonna turn this in. Rewards have been given, nice. Let's see, what boosters do I have? I have a defense booster. Let's do this, we're gonna pop this defense booster and then see if we get anything good from those purple memories. So I'm gonna use that defense booster. Um, Drachman LP, those won't help me increase my power. But then I'm also gonna come in here and just re-equip something, just so it refreshes my power. So you bump that, that bumped me up to 598, that was pretty good. Um, let's see, I could get a bike, that's gonna be a big chunk of my money, let's not worry about him. All right, code breaker, going for a big game. Now these are, guess what, too expensive for me to decode right now. Uh, let's see, did I get any more drachma? I did, I got some pretty good drachma orbs and boosters. Let's use all of those. 62. That's gonna let me decode at least a couple of these. So again, I look at them primary, legs, and class. The primary probably still isn't gonna be better than what I got, but I should be able to do one of these class items. Here we go, so that plus 23 defense. Now these have six perks, so hit point, attack, defense, LP, drachma, crit. I kind of wish I had an XP perk in here, maybe in place of the, the Drachmar LP, but we're gonna equip that. And a big power jump up to, to 700. And I don't have enough. I need about 10,000 more Drachma to get that. I'm just going to do something that everyone says don't do. Come in here and sell. And uh, let's sell some, some of the white memories. Uh, I'm not gonna sell my blues. Got eight of those I can sell. Of these guys, let's see how much is that gonna get me. 6,000, we are close. Uh, let's see. What I could do is, the blues are the highest level one you can you can uh, sell. Let's sell our primary blues. So no, I'm not gonna decode one of those that's gonna be stronger than what I have. All right, enough drachma, I should be able to. Decode my class now. And so plus five defense, 29 hit point attack, defense, XP, Drachma, that's really, really good. So the last thing I'm gonna do is come in here and under my equipment, we're gonna just dismantle all of our equipment that we're not using. And under armor, let's see. Some of this that you buy from the initial stores don't count as whites. They're considered special, even though they're white. So the mass dismantle didn't didn't get rid of those. Uh, we can get rid of some greens. And we'll get rid of this guy. All right, let's see how much of a, a help that, that uh, defense booster gave us. Let's see, we had where were those titans at down here? Quiet place, this guy's a tier five. He's probably, uh, he's still hitting me pretty hard, but a lot less than they were prior, uh, if you recall. 
tier three. Let's see what we can do against you. We're gonna hit him with the heavy. Next hit's probably gonna kill me. Let's do the fire bomb. Uh, killed me. Hit for 178. Okay. So I still have a fair amount of work, obviously, to do to get uh, my defense up to where I can battle on um, the Titans here pretty regularly, but we're, we're getting close. A couple more good decodes on a few more items and we'll, we'll probably be there. So I think I had some more blue memories now that I'd picked up from level ups and from battling everything in here. Um, if we get uh, a little bit more drachma, we could pop some blues and see if that helps. Now down here on the bottom when I'm patrolling, and I think I already used up my booster, it would tell me if I had any of it left. Because um, I think that was only a certain number of attacks. It was going to be valid for. Let's see what happens to my power if I re-equip something now. Yeah, so that jumped down to 633. So that booster gave me almost 100 power. So you can use those to kind of spike your, um, your power when you're decoding. And there's defense boosters 1, 2, and 3. They each give you a 50% boost to your defense. Um, but the number of attacks varies based off of, I want to say, 50, um, 500, and 2,000 or something like that. Um, but they do stack. So if you use multiple type 1s, it'll just increase the duration. But I can use a type 1 and a type 2 and they both give me their benefits separately. So I have a duration of type ones and a duration of the, of the tier twos. And so overall you'd have double the, the benefit for however long those attacks last. All right, I am about hitting the length of where I wanna wrap this up. So we hit level 22, we did a bounty, we showed that off. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick break here and we'll call this one a wrap.